Hello, my dear friends, and welcome. My name is Vicki Hadge, and this is Even So It Is Well. On my channel, I share information about living well with multiple sclerosis or chronic illness. And today, we're back in the kitchen. I'm going to be making a nutritious, whole food, plant-based meal for you today. And I'm doing this because of a viewer request. Did you know that I take requests? I do. So if you have a request for a topic that's related to diet, exercise, stress reduction, or sleep, go ahead and put it in the comments below. I would love to make a video for you too. Oftentimes when people are switching from a typical Western diet or the standard American diet to a whole food plant-based diet, they're looking for substitutes for the meat. So today we're gonna to be making a substitute meatloaf. Uh, meatloaf is one of the ultimate comfort foods and I used to love meatloaf but I have changed it up a bit today. Today we're going to be making a smoky savory chickpea loaf. A lot of times when we're looking for vegan options for meatloaf the recipes are lentil loaves and I love a good lentil loaf but lentils aren't for everybody. They have kind of an earthy earthy taste to them, so not everybody likes it. So today, we're gonna substitute, substitute chickpeas. And this recipe is super easy to make. I'm taking some shortcuts to make it really easy. And as always, I'm gonna put the recipe in the description below. So let's get started. The ingredients for this recipe are two tablespoons of ground flax seeds, one half cup of water, which we'll divide, two carrots, two stalks of celery, one large onion, three cups of cooked chickpeas or two 15 ounce cans of chickpeas that I've drained and rinsed, three tablespoons of reduced sodium soy sauce, one cup of rolled oats, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, a quarter cup of ketchup, two teaspoons of garlic granules, and one teaspoon of onion granules. To begin, mix half of the water in with the ground flax seeds. As it sits, it will thicken up and this will become the binder for our loaf. And it's a great source of omega-3 fatty acids. Next, we're gonna shred the vegetables. We're gonna use a food processor to make it nice and easy. And I don't even peel my carrots, I just wash them. Then we're gonna saute the vegetables over medium heat in a large pan, just until they begin to soften. I don't use any oil when I saute, so if the vegetables start to stick a little, you can just add a tablespoon of water as needed to keep them from sticking. Next, add the chickpeas to the food processor and pulse them several times. We don't want them completely smooth. We want them to have some texture. Then add the chickpeas to a large mixing bowl. And then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients three tablespoons of soy sauce, one cup of rolled oats, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, one quarter cup of ketchup. I like to buy the unsweetened variety. the rest of the water, two teaspoons of garlic granules, maybe a little more, <laughs> and one teaspoon of onion granules. Then add your sauteed vegetables and the flax seeds. You can see they just sat for a few minutes and they've thickened up nicely. It's a nice replacement for the eggs. Mix this well until it's well combined.
Then put it in your favorite loaf pan and you're going to want to cover it with, lightly with aluminum foil and bake it at 400 degrees F or 200 degrees centigrade for 45 minutes. While it's cooking, let's talk a bit about the nutritional benefits of this yummy loaf. I use Chronometer to check the nutrition of foods and I'll put a link in the description below to that website. Each serving has 33% of our recommended daily allowance of fiber. Fiber helps our gut biome to be healthy. The fiber helps feed our gut microbes, our gut bugs, and that helps us to produce more short, cha short chain fatty acid. And this in turn helps us helps to reduce inflammation. Did you know that only about 5% of Americans consume the recommended amounts of fiber? Yet people are always asking me, where do you get your protein? And speaking of protein, this dish has an impressive 10.4 grams of protein per serving. The recommended daily allowance is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. This works out to about 40 to 60 grams per day for the average adult. The other superstar of nutrition in this dish is vitamin A with 40% of the recommended daily allowance. Vitamin A is important to eyesight, healthy bones, and good immune function. Honorable mentions go to folate, iron, magnesium, and the B vitamins. I added a sweet potato and steamed broccoli to round out this meal, and the nutritional highlights of the entire meal are 87% of my fiber, vitamins A, good for eyes, bone, and immune function, vitamin C, which is involved in many bodily functions, including the formation of collagen, the absorption of iron, the proper functioning of the immune system, wound healing, and the maintenance of cartilage, bones, and teeth. And vitamin K helps us to make various proteins that are needed for blood clotting and the building of bones. It also helps with the absorption of vitamin D. Manganese, required for the normal functioning of our brain, nervous system, and many of our body's enzyme systems. Time for a taste test. So good. The smokiness from the paprika and the umami from the soy sauce, so good. You will never ever miss a meatloaf made from animals again. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I wanted to jump in quick before the end of the video to let you know that this also is great for leftovers. You can make awesome chickpea loaf sandwiches. They're great for lunch the next day. Mm hmm So good. So the question of the day is, do you have requests for videos? What would you like to see next? Do you have questions on diet? exercise, sleep, stress reduction? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, the thumbs up icon under the video, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Until next time, my dear friends, be well.